Hi, first grade. We're going to be thinking about partners of 10 today. So I've put in one dot in here. What is its partner to make 10? Do you know? Let's do its partner in yellow. Fill in all of the parts of the 10 frame. That's right, one and nine are partners, or nine and one are partners for 10. Let's do another one. Uh, this time I'm gonna put in four. What's four's partner to make 10? You can look at the empty spaces. Four's partner to make 10 is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four and six are partners. They fill up the space and make 10. Partners that make 10. What are some other partners that make 10? Uh, what if I, I'm not sure how to do this. One, two, three. What's three's partner to make 10? Three and seven are partners. You can think in your mind if you don't know your partners very well. You can use your fingers or you can think in your mind um, what the partners are. For today, we have this sheet that is adding three numbers. And it's a tricky sheet because three numbers, you're like, how, how am I going to do that? Well, you do have your math rack. Okay, so you have your math rack. And, but there is another trick that you can use that will help you. So, look at this. I've got to find a partner of 10. And that's what I'm going to look for. Oh, nine and one. I'm going to circle it. Nine and one make 10. Nine and one make 10. Let's do this. And then I'm going to add three more. 10, 11, 12, 13. If you can find the partners that make 10, oh, there's going to be a lot of nine and ones. Nine and one, 10, 10 and five. Fifteen. We've done some of this before, so so what you're doing on this sheet is finding the partners that make ten, and I think they've made it pretty easy for you on this sheet because the partners are next to each other. Later on, they'll be all mixed up, and you'll have to really kind of hunt for them. But right here, they're usually the first two numbers, and then you tell me how many all together. Let's do one down here. Two, two and eight, are they partners? Yes, they're partners. Two and eight are partners of 10. 10 and seven, one 10, seven more, 17. Let's try another one over here. Four, five, and six, can you find a partner? Oh, this is maybe getting a little trickier because four and five do not make 10 but four and six do, so I'm gonna circle it like that. Four and six make 10, and there's five in the middle. That means one 10 and five more. So starting about here, they're going to mix up the partners and even sometimes make a missing number and you have to use your own little brain to work out what's the missing number. Oh. Nine and one make 10. There's a missing number that gets to 14. What do we have to add to 10 to get to 14? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have to add four. The missing number here is four. Sometimes it gets hard for you. If you can't do these harder ones, it's okay. You can stop early on. 
But these are good for your brain, so if you can do them, keep working and get a grown-up to help you. Eight plus two is 10, they're partners. All right, so how many to get to 11? 10, just one to get to 11. 11 is 10 and one more. All right, that is how you do that job. I wonder if it would help ahead of time to write down all the partners of 10. It's a pretty easy job to do. It's nine and one, eight and two. It's hard for me to write down. Seven and three, six and four, five and five. Look at that, those are all the partners of 10. And you can switch them around, five and five, four and six, three and seven, two and eight, one and nine, or nine and one, eight and two, seven and three. They all add up to 10. And when you know those partners, it really helps when adding extra numbers to see which numbers you could put together to make 10. All right, try that job today. Then on the back of the paper is some tens to count in like we did yesterday. And this is a picture of the Montessori beads. See, those are the little Montessori rods. So we can count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 3 tens, oh, and no more, 30. One, two, three tens, and three more. How many tens, how many ones? Say the numbers, 30, 33. So two different jobs here. I hope you enjoy it. It's a lot of math, but it will make you a strong mathematician. Okay, see you next time.